Where will the more than 250 billion shillings come from if the members of parliament get their way for their proposed 40% salary increment? It was neither in the budget framework paper. It was neither in their, in the, in, in, in their, in their ministerial policy statement as, as, as a legislature. It is just money that comes, boom, as, 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 as a request. And, and therefore it means that the Minister of Finance and the government need to shift and cut resources from other sectors. Don't be surprised that you definitely see a shift in terms of money being allocated to education, health and other sectors to be able to find that kind, to be able to fund that kind of, of request. And for me my worry, really when you think about where this money is going to come from, it's going to come from the poor people paying more taxes, more VAT, being poorer. So I, I, I think this country can't afford it. The proposed budget for next financial year had already cut formerly priority areas like agriculture, which spells doom for these and other sectors if the MP's salary increment is granted. The narrow budget has been reduced by almost uh, uh, 49 billion. They barely have nothing to, to be able to to do any, oper any, oper any, 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 any program, running their laboratories, getting new varieties, they, they just don't have that money. The single spine system, which we are very much, which we want, mm -hmm. currently is that at the district level, it, is, it, have, it has a staffing of only 9%, only, only 9%. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk about uh, issues to deal with the viral chain, for example, to add value to our crops, mm -hmm. uh, we need 30 billion, but we don't have that money. I think only 15 billion has been, has, has been allocated. Mm -hmm. So the pressures of this country are so much that members of parliament need to think twice to do that. This is part of the non-productive areas asking for more money. That in the case of the members of parliament, at times rises arbitrarily, being that parliament determines its own emoluments. Samuel Setumba, NTV, Business.